fact, it's considering offering financial incentives to hire new bus drivers and also keep the ones that they currently have. This proposal will be discussed at tomorrow's school board meeting. Kate Houston live in studio to break down how much money is being offered and how it could fill all those vacancies. Kate? Yes, Denise, over the past few months, we've heard that school buses are chronically late or don't show at all. And this has forced the district to come up with some creative solutions, such as partnering with RTC and now offering nearly $2,000 to employees. I've tried everything humanly possible. I, you know, called the school, I've called the transportation, I even called RTC to try and get her a pass. Molly Kylie is on the phone every morning at 7 a.m. to check if her granddaughter will get a bus ride to school. And if there's not a bus available, then she just sits there. She's been at the stop for two hours in the morning waiting for a bus sometimes. Kylie says there isn't a designated driver on their bus route. That vacancy is one of 240 in the district. She's missed school several times because there is no bus, or she's late to school because the bus never doesn't get there on time. In an effort to fill open positions, the school district and the Education Support Employees Association created an incentive proposal. Both new hires and current employees are eligible for three installments of $500 contingent upon training and high attendance. An employee referral can also lead to $500. While Kylie does think this is a good idea, she's worried it isn't quick enough. But I wish they'd have done it earlier in the year, but better late than never, I guess. The district and ESEA say there will be no financial impact since the funds are from current vacancies. If approved, those incentives would be available until June 30th of next year. The school board will discuss and potentially approve that proposal at tomorrow night's meeting at 5 p.m. Back to you.